Hey everybody, um, this is Jay here, and let's get um, started with another gameplay commentary video. This uh, today I'm gonna be fine tuning the Stitch deck that I've um, showcased before Fourth of July, and then we'll just go over some more nuanced gameplay with it. Now I know that a lot of people say like playing Stitch isn't fun, facing Stitch isn't fun. Um, and I feel like it's 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 definitely hard to interact with a stick board, but it's not as overpowered as people think. Um, I play this deck quite a few times. I'm getting about 50%, a little bit slightly higher win rate with it. Um, that could just depend on like other decks that's currently being played on Pixelborn right now. But it's not as one-sided as some people think because really, unless you get the combo pieces going and fast, um, opponents can do a lot before you get the stitch out. Um, so yeah, so it's not as overpowered as some people think. It is quite solitary. Um, so you're you're just playing a lot of cards. You don't necessarily care too much about your opponent's board uh, you, you still have to kind of figure out the right challenges um, and try to slow your opponents down before you like kind of go off with this deck but it's it's um i think it's perfectly fine there doesn't need to be any big board wipes or anything to balance stitch out it's not as uh strong you don't just auto win if you play this deck um, having said that, um, compared to last time, the only changes that I made to this Stitch deck is I took out three, uh, four, the four copies of Rafiki and added four copies of Maleficent just um, because a lot of times um, with Rafiki's, I end up drawing Rafiki's um, when trying to kind of draw those one drop, two drops off of Stitch and it doesn't feel good. So at least um, drawing a Maleficent feels great when you can just play it and continue to um, get the engine rolling here. Everything else is pretty typical, but I'll kind of go over the deck again. Um, playing Amber Amethyst. And so we have all of our uh, normal one drops. So Hey Hey, LeFou, Olaf, Mini, uh, or one or two drops. Mini, Stitch, um, the Stitch Rockstar, which is a centerpiece of this deck. Timon, Be Our Guest is surprisingly an MVP because a lot of times you actually don't um, get either Stitch or Stitch Rockstar um, that you need in, in order for your deck to be viable at all. And so you just Be Our Guest and try to um, search hard for the Stitch Rockstar. Um, and then we have the Lanterns for some ramp. Archimedes, one drop. Faciliate, two drops. Um, we don't include any magic brooms since we don't quite need it. Uh, Maleficent. Uh, and then the uh, Maleficent Sorceress to just get some additional draws. Um, more search um, for either Stitch, Rockstar, or those one or two drops that you need. Um, Pascal, great one drop, uh, and then friends on the other side, which is um, uh, more card draw. So the name of this game is card draw, try to get into that stitch roster, and then card draw in order to get all of your one drops and two drops. Um, notably, the only um, three drops that we have um, are Maleficent and friends on the other side that can be inked. Um, and as um and then the uh so I, specifically I'm talking about all of the um cards that doesn't go into the stitch engine. So we have Maleficent, which is a three drop. Friends on the other side, which is uh action three drop. And then we have Stitch Rockstar that doesn't combo into itself, but it's still great to draw into because that enables you to swing in, sing, or um quest with your stitch knowing that you have an additional stitch um that as a backup in case your opponent removes it and then i think lanterns is the only other um card that doesn't utilize the stitch engine um so and generally what i've seen is a lot of times you uh play a one drop two drop draw a card and you draw lanterns and it feels bad but 
doesn't really happen very often and you only have four of the lanterns hopefully you get to play one or two early on and so you don't really run into that every other card in this deck um lets you draw a card with when you have stitch on board so this is very much a go hard um stitch engine cool let's get into some gameplay and um i'll try to talk about kind of how um i try to get the most use out of my stitches here it's fast game okay we got all three pieces of the puzzle generally you don't get a hand this quite this good this early um so i'm almost tempted to I, I will toss away one of the lanterns since we don't need two of them um but every other card we will keep so i think generally what i've kind of resorted to is turn one not do anything turn two play a lantern tap play stitch that way you still get the stitch rock star on turn three um but you give your opponents one less turn to react to the fact that you do have the stitch yeah it might not mean much but just feels nice the only other time i might play a stitch out turn one is if i have two stitches and so i want to play a stitch lantern stitch just to have two stitches on board um there didn't want to draw another lantern there um but it's okay um we will ink the friends on the other side we will want to keep as many of the one drops as we can here we're playing a um uh, mirror match with opposing stitch so uh it's if they go out faster than we do um it's gg so it's just a matter of who goes out first hopefully opponent doesn't have quite as good of a hand as we did good okay so they don't have a uh, lantern which is great um so once again we will ink something so we'll probably ink the hey hey um, specifically Pascal and Olaf both have a bit more survivability when they come in tapped off of Stitch. And then we will play the Lantern, tap the Lantern in order to play the Stitch. So same with the turn, um, same idea as a turn 1 Stitch, turn 2 Lantern, turn 3 um, Rockstar shift. Um, but this way it just gives opponent one, one less turn to react to what we're doing. Okay, they're also drawing. So we do get out the stitch faster than they do, which is great um, if they do have a turn for stitch. So we will ink friends on the other side, um, play the lantern, and shift out a stitch. Cool. So now we have at the very least two one drops um, to go out uh, to for a stitch to ramp off of. Um, we we don't want to quest with Stitch unless we're absolutely safe and sure that opponent can't remove it with all of the rush cards and shenanigans in um, Amethyst. So, yep, they are digging hard for that Stitch. Good. Okay, so they got Mickey with brooms. It's not as strong as a Stitch. So, okay. Cool. So we start going off. So we just play out pretty much our um, one drops. We really want those one drops and it's great to draw into them. So we will continue to play them out. Okay, now we have a choice to make. So typically, um, if I had another one drop, I would really like to play the lanterns in that last one drop but since we have a two drop we can't play lanterns um and then the mini so we will um ink a maleficent and we'll probably just play out the mini um jar card nice okay so we got another one drop later once again we don't want to quest with stitch or do anything with stitch if we can avoid it we pass um and hopefully next turn we can sing be our guest on our mini if she survives she's probably not going to but there's always a possibility this essentially gets us another um one drop so that's great okay not very threatening we can run our pascal into their pascal um, okay, they're questing with Mickey, Maleficent, so now we're gonna have to try to, um, 
do something about the void state, which is doable now. Um, so, but first, we 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 can always only uh, do things with these um, our characters already. So we might as well just play out our characters exerted and continue to go off on those. Nice. This is great. Okay, it's not so great. Okay, so first of all, we need to take out, we want to try to take out the Mickey. So we can use our stitch, since we have a backup stitch, we can use our stitch and something else, Olaf, to take out the Mickey, which means we can also take out the brooms. So, but then we do leave the Pascal, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to use stitch and Olaf. Um, no, stitch and Pascal because then we want to um, crest with Hey Hey, give Olaf two. And honestly, I'm probably gonna wanna pick out the Maleficent just because if they do have a friends on the other side, they can't sing with that. Rooms isn't that much of a threat right now. And so now let's sing Be Our Guest Mini. Yes, and try to get into a one drop. And then that way we can ink a Maleficent, play out a lantern, and then play out our one drop. And we can remove a counter. That's fine. Um, damage counter. And then we'll pass and see what our opponent does. So that way we're in prime position to play out um, another stitch or even shift the stitch. Perfect. See, they had a friend on the other side and they had to spend their ink in order to play it. So I am very happy with running it into their Maleficent. It's fine. They're going to run the Rafiki into my stitch, but we have such a big board presence that they really can't quest or quest with too many things. Yeah, just questing with the Pascal is not an issue at all. They really only have two turns if if I do things correct. We should be threatening lethal um, on next turn, unless of course they take out our stitch, which is fine. Question is, do they take out our um, two um, mad dogs, which is great because that really decreases your board presence. Okay, they do, but. We do have another stitch. Um, okay. And we can take out the Ariel too, if need be. So we will play out our stitch. A lot of times opponents might just concede at this point, but that's fine. Play out Olaf, draw a card, ink a facilier. Play out another stitch, draw a card, nice. And then we do want to try to take out the Ariel. So we will quest with Hey Hey. Give Olaf some additional attack. Attack into the Ariel with Archimedes. And then kill off the Pascal. And then we can quest with things. The remaining characters and say go. Yep, and that's GG. Let's play another round. Yeah, most of the time things don't go that smoothly uh, with the Stitch deck, so it is a very lucky uh, opening hand that we got um, with the Stitch, Lanterns, and Rockstar. Okay. 
let's see what we got here. We don't have a normal stick stitch um so we will try to aggressively mulligan we will keep all of our br guests just as um essentially search for nice okay we got the normal stitch so we got a stitch turn four depending on the deck that we play it still might be ah uh, yeah like um we're playing ruby so they have removal for um stitches um so we're gonna need multiple stitches this game um and that's why the br guests is so important so we are going to a lot of times early game we want to ink all of our two costs like lefou really doesn't isn't impactful um early on we will play out the stitch because our idea is turn one stitch turn two um br guests turn three br guests Search out for more stitches and our combo pieces, um, and then turn four, um, shift onto um, our stitch, and hopefully opponent doesn't have removal. Um, there, okay, sounds good. So we'll continue with our plan. Uh, turn two, we will sing. Though it might be tempting to play out mini because mini can also sing, but it's better to use mini as ink, and we'll just play our be our guest. Um, nothing really good really wanted to draw the lanterns anyways but we will grab another mini that's four cards that we uh, searched off the top of the deck and we'll pass we'll keep the stitch so essentially be our guests also like removes four cards from the top of our decks um so hopefully if even if we don't find anything that's fewer cards that we'll search into yeah opponents doing the same thing it's probably a pretty close mirror match with um Opponent being um, Amber Ruby, though it's really difficult to justify playing Stitch decks with nine cost cards like Maleficent. Yep. Uh, okay, another uh, Stitch. That's great to keeping our hands. Once again, we will ink the mini, and we will play um, be our guest. Though it is tempting to play the Maleficent this turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think um we do want to play out the Maleficent just for a card draw. We can we all, we can always sing be our guest with Maleficent later too. So let's just play the Maleficent, grab a card draw, and pass the turn. And next turn, we'll shift onto Stitch. Hope opponent doesn't have a uh, removal. And then, um, and then go off. That's the pretty much the name of the game. If they do have removal, we just have to um, be our guest and draw another stitch that's pretty much it okay so we'll ink a lefu um shift out the stitch sing be our guest eesh um yeah no no rock star stitches so hopefully we'll be able to draw out some more um and the other thing um and we don't want to attack the other thing um to note here is you always want to try to have many um one drop cards in hand just to prep for your stitch turn so for example you can see when i played my stitch this turn i have four cards so next turn no matter what i can play four um units out um more likely five units because i can also ink one um but yeah, that's that's pretty much how to play this deck. We'll run out of Maleficent since it's an one in uninkable, so they need to be played out in our hands anyways. Um, yeah, opponent can challenge into them, but it slows them down. They don't quest really. Um, we'll run out both stitches in case we draw into Rockstar. Perfect. So now that we draw into a rock star, we are less concerned with if opponent has dragon fire. Um, and we will ink uh, Maleficent since uh, it's equivalent to our one or two drops because our one or two drops also draw a card. Okay, cool. And then we will pass our turn and see if opponent can deal with a board presence here. So 
this is great because even if opponent deals okay so opponents playing evasive that's fine um i think we can outrace evasives okay gonna kill both of my stitches leave out my two maleficents no okay that's what i thought um which is great because now i can oh yeah no they are going to kill up we'll leave out a maleficent um so we let's see definitely want to play out our two drops just for the card draw not the card i really wanted to see um i think what we're gonna do here is we're going to take out their hey hey Quest with Maleficent, as we need to do that anyways. And we really want to set up for some future good turns. Um, we will ink a Maleficent, bring us to four. That way we can play a Lantern. Play another Lantern. Tap both Lanterns and play out the LeFou. Okay, and then we'll say pass. We do want to um be aware um that our deck um amber amethyst has no removal whatsoever um so the only way we can get rid of opposing characters is if they quest or challenge into our characters and we challenge back um so their evasives are very scary in terms of um they can just race us with evasive cards. But hopefully Stitch generates enough of a clock on the opponent that they can't, yeah. So like, they are actually using uh, Goofy, their evasive characters, to challenge into our characters. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, we will have both Lanterns in order to play, a fist, um, play out a two-drop to get some more card draw. Nice more card draw give me all of the card draw um, more card draw and kimons are surprisingly nice because they really can uh reduce that those one um damage that you take from challenging more card draw um more card draw yeah, and that's really the strength of uh, this deck. Um, we have the stitches um, as backup here. Um, so we will quest. We'll continue questing. And opponent really needs to constantly answer the board. And we'll just replace the board and they just become, get further and further behind there. Mulan's great against a um, Stitch deck, um, but just a little bit too slow in this case. Normally, if opponent can like delay our Stitch, um, Dragonfire, that first Stitch we played, um, Mulan can really be a threat, especially if opponent has a bunch of evasives. Not the, quite the card we're looking for at this point. We don't need more Stitches, but I guess we'll take them. At this point, we're pretty safe from any sort of um, removal. Um, we will sing a Be Our Guest with Mini. Uh, draw into some more. Um, Archimedes is good because it's two damage for if opponent wants to challenge in. Okay, and then we'll play out another Stitch. And then we will challenge with Facilier and then quest with everything else. Um, at this point, I will quest with the Stitch because we have a backup Stitch and this threatens, um, threatens lethal um, way more. So yeah, awesome. So that's uh, how the Stitch deck works. Hope this helps.